Hello folks and welcome to a new game. This is City Bus Manager and the idea here is that we are going to manage and own a fleet of buses that we will serve a city. Uh, so we have to name our company first off. It's going to be Red Moon Rocket Bus Company. All right, so we got that down. We're in North America. We're going to look up uh, District of Columbia or Washington DC. There we go. Um, and this thing, this game one is Built with Unity, great, no problem, it's there. Two, the maps on this thing are enormous. I'm talking about like 10, 20 gigs per continent. Like it is an enormous, enormous game to download. It starts off with Europe and you can download other places if you want. I want to the United States because that's where I live. And I figure District of Columbia or Washington DC works because uh, that's the capital of the country. So let's go ahead and go next. Uh, we'll start off here. Uh, the background is the area around your bus depot, which you can kind of see blurred out here in the background. If you want it to be a village or a city, we're going to definitely choose city. And then we have sandbox, normal or expert. Uh, and that basically just influences the amount of money you have. We're going to start off with normal and start our game. The loading times on this game take a little bit of time, but there's an insane amount of information that's being downloaded and done. Um, I have a couple little quirks and things I'd like to see done on this game, um, but this is still an early access. This is not the final version. And in all honesty, uh, if they release this now, I'd be happy with the money I spent on it. Uh, it's just a really fun game. Uh, and there's just a lot to go on uh, and do and see. Uh, there's some problems that you'll see as we go through this game, um, which I plan on releasing a few videos on this one because uh, all of this is not gonna happen in one kind of go around. Uh, this is like, probably to get most of the stuff that you want to do in this game it's probably between six to ten hours of gameplay uh, to do things and that's just depending on what city you pick once you pick a new city uh, it's a totally different game all over again which uh, provides its own little fun challenges and uh, points of interest so you can see we are here in Washington DC the first thing we need to do is set our bus depot um, and it centers us uh, there's the White House right there uh, this is the Washington Mall over here is the Lincoln Memorial and you can see it actually has marks for all excuse me that's the vietnam or excuse me world war ii memorial the lincoln or the uh, lincoln memorial and uh, is right there the washington monument somewhere there it is right there but you can see it has all of these points of interest it's super cool as far as uh, kind of setting that up i'm gonna set my bus depot near the national world war one memorial which i don't think i've ever actually been to uh, so i'm gonna put it right there and yes that's where i'd like to put it uh, now what's going to happen is it's going to walk us through all of the things that we need to have. Uh, it's going to kind of give us points and awards here. And you can see uh, there are three little badges along the bottom as you uh, kind of upgrade here. So it's 50 reward points to get to that, to get to the bronze, and then whatever it is to the silver. We're going to go through and take a look at all that. I'm going to pause the game right now. Um, the interface in this game is super simple. I, I wish this button was down here as well. It's one of the quirks and you'll see why. Um, but otherwise, I really dig this game. You can spin around and do all kinds of fun stuff. Sorry if you uh, get motion sickness there. Uh, but let's go through and take a look here. Uh, we have to do a service center, uh, which is this building right here. And when we click on the build button, which is kind of the orange one here, these are all the different structures you can go through and build. Uh, service center is here. And we have to scroll down to find a service desk. Uh, the very first time I looked at this game, I was looking for a desk uh, and did not put in service and it didn't work. So you need to make sure that and then you can see if you put it up right up against the wall, people can't get to the desk because somebody has to work behind it. Use R to rotate. And I'm gonna put three of those in. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, and then it says we need to have at least two spots of seating. So we're gonna go with the cheap chairs of the $40 chairs because we're not gonna spend money on that stuff there. And we have that done. And you can see uh, that we have to do the rest of this. So we're gonna set up the rest of this stuff. Um, I'm going to go a little out of order of what it's asking for, mainly because uh, I want to set this up a different way than what the game kind of wants you to do. So I'm going to set up my corridors here. Uh, corridors are kind of how we can transition from one spot to the next. Uh, it, and it will allow us to be able to work with all of this stuff. Um, but eventually, as our bus company grows, I want this whole area to encompass the service center. Uh, so we have that. Back over here, we're going to build some office space and get that into place. Uh, but before we do that, maybe we'll take a look at the bathroom and the kitchen because we need to have bathroom and kitchen uh, set up in this game as well. And I might want to take a look at where this road's at. Sorry, I'm rotating so much. I, there's no snap for the uh, rotation and I like it to be in this orientation. Um, it's just me being a weirdo. Uh, but I'm going to set up some uh, basic stuff here. Like we have a bus wash. 
Uh, and I actually, that's, see, it doesn't fit there. So uh, let's go back to build a street and get some street areas in there. Uh, and then we're gonna go and get our bus wash, which is right there. And then we can get our service centers. Um, we're gonna get the smaller lifting platform because we don't need to have the big one in there. You can see it adds uh, some interior space. It adds bay doors for these things to go in. And I could actually fit another one there if I wanted to. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that's fun. Uh, let's take a look here and see what else we have. We have warehouses to store different parts for our vehicles and all of that. We're gonna get that in there. We'll put our door. And we're also gonna put a door into the service center from there. Uh, the reason for doing that is if there's a repair that needs to happen, they have to get the parts from the service center. Uh, so it makes sense to kind of just have those available uh, and access to the places where that work is going to be done. Uh, let's get a kitchen in there, an office, and all of the other things we need to have. So I'm gonna start off with an office. I'm gonna get the six by four that it's asking for. Uh, and I actually have that being seven. So I'm gonna do a six by seven. There we go. We'll get our door in there right at the end of that hallway. And then we need to put in a desk. Again, it's a standing desk. If you just look for desk, because these are all in alphabetic order, it does not work. You have to get the right one, which I find infuriating <laughs> half the time. Uh, our workers are just gonna get cheap chairs because it doesn't matter what they have there. Uh, we have a kitchen now that we need to build that's gonna be four by four. So let's minimize that. We'll get our kitchen in here. We'll build it. Uh, we're gonna start off on this end and get it to be four by seven because that's how big our space is. And then what do we need? We need a fridge and a vending machine. So we'll get the fridge and vending machine. It's down at the bottom there. All right. And then what we have, a bathroom. All right. So we're gonna go through and get that. Uh, we'll go to the bathroom. It needs to be four, oh no, what does it need to be? Three by three, okay. So one, two, three. There we go. All right, so there's our bathroom. We'll put a, a tinted door for the bathroom because we're not mean people. We want we want people to be able to go to the bathroom in peace. Uh, we'll get a sink up against the wall and then we'll get our toilets placed in here. Now there's no bathroom stalls or anything like that. This game, if you need to go potty, you're gonna go potty right next to everybody else and uh, that's fine. All right. Over here, we have, uh, we've already built our road to get this and now we have to take a look and see what we have to do. Uh, we need to get some buses and we need to buy two buses. So we're gonna go to build and street and we have bus parking spaces. We have large, medium and small. Um, we're gonna start off with small. Um, it's slightly annoying that there's no space there that we can use, uh, but that can be other things down the road here. Uh, let's see, do we have a street unit? I'm gonna eventually have a street go out that way so the reason why I'm just putting that there is because we'll eventually expand the building out mo here, most likely, uh, and then we still wanna have our stuff here. Uh, and then we have some choices to make. I'm gonna put some small bus parking and we're gonna rotate it facing this way. So we need to have at least two, I'm gonna put in three. Uh, and then uh, you can see there's bus chargers here because when we go to bus fleet, which is where we can go to buy buses, um, we can buy new buses or we can even buy used buses if we'd like. Uh, and as we scroll through, you can see it gives you what the price is off the original. So a Sprinter van costs $13,800 brand new. If we want to get a used one that has almost 80 or a little over 70,000 miles, it, we're not losing a lot of money on that. I can see that some of the parts are not in good working order. So we're going to get some new buses most likely here. Let's take a look. We do have uh, some buses that I like. And we're going to make an entirely green. And by green, I mean we're just going electric with everything. Uh, bus service. Uh, so we take a look, this supports 55 passengers, uh, this supports 60, uh, this costs less and goes more miles. It has 204 miles of range versus this, uh, which is pretty compatible with the Ramses. Uh, the new Ramses actually has less passengers than this one and costs more money. Uh, it goes a little bit more, but not a lot more. So we're gonna buy this uh, and we're gonna get three of them. The reason we're getting three is because we have three spots. Now this is the fun part of the game. We have to go through and paint our buses um, they have all kinds of stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna make them kind of white and red to fit with the channel's stuff. And also it just allows things to go quicker, but we can draw things on the bus if we'd like. We can delete things. We can place decals on there. We can do all kinds of stuff. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but if I really, really wanted to, I would go in and import a, uh, an image here or a decal and it would be our uh, logo for the channel. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Although I really wanna put it right there. I think that would look awesome to have uh, 
the rocket there, but we're not going to do that. We'll, uh, we're going to save this most likely. And we're just going to call it Air Moon Rocket Bus. And we're going to save that locally and then we'll apply that to our buses and our new buses will be coming down there once we unpause it. Now, we do need to make sure that we go to street or you can also go to hall. Um, they do the same thing. Hall is basically the street parking, but inside of a building. Um, but we need to make sure that we have bus chargers uh, so that we can get our buses charged. And that's one of the things with, if we are going through and actually building uh, this out, uh, we need to make sure that our buses are, electric buses are gonna cost more, is basically the, the, the what I'm trying to say here. Um, they're gonna cost more uh, because they have to have this additional infrastructure, which costs $4,000, but you never have to pay for gas. Um, this gas station alone is $16,000. And while it can be serviced by multiple buses, uh, you need multiples of these. So they don't equal out for sure, but uh, long-term the, the charger buses or the bus chargers are worth the money. So I'm gonna unpause the game uh, by hitting the level or number one, and you can see our buses, here they come. Who are they driven by? We don't know, but they're, they're coming in here. And I guess we need to hire some staff. So we'll let our buses back in. They always back into the spots. There's no other way for them to do this, uh, but we have all three of our beautiful buses here. We're gonna go down to the yellow button here for staff, and it says we need to uh, place six lockers. So right now we can't do anything because we don't have lockers. So we're gonna go back in here, look at corridor and find lockers. There's no way to change the color of these lockers or do anything else with them. They are just gonna be these ugly green lockers. And I'm just gonna line this corridor with them. Uh, and the reason for that is because every employee needs their own locker. Without uh, a locker, you can't run this game. Uh, so we're gonna hire employees and we're gonna kind of weed it down or filter it down here to bus drivers. Now there's one thing if you're really into this game or really interested in what's going on here that you wanna do. Sorting is gonna be done by friendliness and we wanna make sure we get the most friendly bus drivers ever. The skill doesn't necessarily matter. We can have very unskilled workers and over the course of a day or two, they'll get up their skill and be expert drivers in no time. You can't be more friendly over time. You can get better at your job, but getting more friendly is a little tough. So we're gonna hire two of those that's all we need for right now. We need to hire a mechanic. So uh, these guys, you don't have to necessarily hire on friendliness or not, but I like to do that. We're gonna hire our researcher, our cleaners, and service employees. We're gonna get two of these most likely. Then we'll get one for right now. They're not friendly enough. And one of the scores that you're rated on is friendliness of your staff overall. So you need to kind of make sure you do that. Uh, so we've already placed a workspace. We've placed our bus cleaner. Uh, and now we need to go to our bus route and get that planned. So we're gonna click on the map here. And as we zoom out, you can see that Washington DC, or really any city has tons of stuff. Uh, the game does give a lot of preference to trains. So you can see that there's train tracks. Uh, this is Union Station. Um, and we can even see some of the underground kind of Metro lines going through stuff uh, to get all of this. This is, I think is a, I think that's a, a freight area. I'm not really too sure about what that actually is. It may just be a holding ground for trains. I don't know. Uh, but then this eventually goes up to Baltimore and beyond. Uh, and we have all of that. So there's our depot. We're going to click on the button here because the menu changes once you get into this map mode uh, and bus routes. We're going to click on new route. And then there's some things that pop up here, which are really important to pay attention to. Uh, you have the option of making your own bus route, or you have the option of going through and doing a public service line. Public service lines are the way to go as long as you can afford them and as long as you have enough uh, trophies, I guess they're called, to unlock them. So like this first one was called Brookmont. Uh, it pays us roughly $21,000 a week, but you can see as we unlock more, this Arlington one pays $102,000 per week. Uh, so there's some stuff to be had there. If you build your own route, you may or may not know the demand that you need to have. Uh, this one says we need to have 137 tours um, and we're gonna do that. So the Brookmont one, uh, we need to connect it. It needs to be connected to 162 buildings, 581 points of interest, at least 10 stops, and it will do the scheduling for us. So we're gonna accept that. And then we have bus stops that we're able to place in. So we can go through here and say, hey, we're gonna connect Brookmont. Let's see the space that makes the most sense. I think it's gonna go there. All right, we have Brookmont connected. And then we're going to come down and we have to find places where there's points of interest, which there's not a lot there. 
whew, that's going to be a little tougher than I thought it would be um, to get those. So I'm just going to click here just to see what that does. It's only 33. That's not enough. We need to find some a big area of points of interest. And there are some existing. You can see these little grayed out bus areas. Um, those are ones that we don't own, but we can use. So we're going to start off here. And I don't know where we're going to go to get that many points of interest. Like we could go into DC, but I don't really want to do that. That's that's a really long bus route. And again, we're using electric buses. So uh, our range is something we do need to be concerned about here. So we'll do that. We can see we already connected enough buildings, um, but we just don't have the number of points of interest that are needed to uh, fulfill a lot of this uh, setup here. So we're going to go out here, go down here, and we need to have a total of 10 stops. So we'll make sure we get all 10 stops. And this road hopefully will let us get the points of interest that we need. Ooh, we're not even halfway there and we need a whole bunch more points of interest. There's stuff up here, but it's so far away. Why is it so far? And I don't know if it's actually going to satisfy all the things we need to have. Um, so we're going to delete some of these ones here. What is that one? Okay. So we're there. We're going to come down here. And we're just going to go right into the heart of DC and we'll see what that brings us. And I like placing my own bus routes as opposed to using the ones that are kind of built into the game, uh, mainly because uh, they can be used uh, or upgraded if it's one that they, they own or I don't know who they is. Um, but if it's the computer controlled ones or the auto generated ones, um, I don't own those, uh, which means down the road when we want to upgrade some of these, I can't do that. And I, I like to be able to upgrade these if I can. So we don't need too many more. There we go. We should be able to knock that one out. And there's also a train station there. That's beautiful. That should help us greatly. All right. And then we need to bring it back to this area here, which we are, we're all the way out. Wow. We're out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know where any of this stuff is, uh, but we're going to try to connect some of this stuff together and get it all out here. Where do we? Okay, it's right over there. So we're going to come down this way and this way and like that. And then we can connect into. Oh, hold on. Our very first stop is garbage. Lock five is tough to get to. Look at it. It has to go all the way out here before we can use it. So we need to actually connect into this area first. So let me delete that. So we're going to go back up here. We've now connected Brookmont and now we should be able to head back to our very first stop. And what we can do is the game will automatically kind of fill out stuff for you. So if I just hit my green check now, it's going to ask, do I want to return trip? And I'll hit, yes, I do. Uh, and it will go through and do all of the work for me. So I don't have to figure it out. Now the timetable is set by our client, so we don't have to do anything uh, there. So I'm just going to confirm that. And we're going to activate that bus route now. And when we go back over here and unpause, we should have uh, the need to assign bus routes here for our drivers. And we just click on the sign and click on the bus. And then we can fast forward and uh, hopefully our workers will show up. I think that's all of them. We hired them all at the same time. We have most of our workers not doing jack over here. And then we have a couple of bus drivers ready to go. Oh, we only, so we only hire two bus drivers and we need to hire another one because our route requires it. So we're gonna go back to hire bus drivers and again, I just hire all of the ones that are nice as far as friendliness goes. And we may need to have more bosses here. So we're going to go back to street we'll build additional street, go through, build additional spots and add additional chargers. And I'm going to, yep. See, I already have another bus that we need to buy. So we're going to go back to buy a new bus. We're going to find, and I don't know why 
the mileage changes so much here, but it does. And we can load in our Red Moon Rust, uh, Red Moon Rocket, excuse me. There we go. We have four buses, four bus drivers. Hopefully that will do our job. And then we can go out to the map and we can see our buses actually do their route. Like from our dupe here, they need to travel quite a ways to do the whole route. And this is actually a massive route. Like it goes over a large area. I would personally like to just kind of keep it wrapped up a little tighter, but that's not how this one's working. All right, so we're gonna go back here. Uh, if we take a look at our inbox, we've accepted this and let's say, um, they're gonna be happy to take care of traffic now and support you and receive 119% subsidy on all income. Okay, we get that subsidy on everything. So when we spend money, we get that subsidy, which sounds awesome. Now we have three desks for our service center. So I'm gonna hire a few more service people, I think, as long as they're friendly. You're friendly enough. As long as they're green, they're probably cool. And all of our buses are now gone. And uh, it's kind of a waiting game at this point. Uh, and that leads me to one of my first complaints about this game. Again, I really like this game. I have a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I've spent probably 50 hours in this game, honestly, uh, going through and trying different things and just seeing how it is. Because I don't like to make first reaction videos on a lot of things generally. I like to go through and play them and see what's going on with them before we get all that. Uh, but one of the things I don't like is especially early game on, you sit and wait a lot. There's not a lot to do uh, when we get started here. Uh, so we need to sell our 20 tickets, uh, which uh, we get one trophy for, and we need to complete 10 tours, which again, we get one trophy for. Um, later down the road, we're gonna get a lot more stuff or very little more work, uh, but that's just kind of how the game's set up to begin with here. Um, you can see we've already sold our 20th ticket. We actually have 30 sold. So we did that and we have one out of 50 uh, for this. Now, uh, we're gonna wrap this up real soon here. Uh, I'll, I'll bring this back for another round uh, shortly. But when we go into research, um, we have to have a certain amount of stuff here. So I can actually research this e-solo buses or the solo bus, solo e-buses or uh, gas buses. Uh, I'm gonna research just electric buses in this uh, video here. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff to do, but you can see some of these don't require anything. They just need, we need to have 30% of the map covered. Uh, whereas like something like this, we need 25. This one, we need 175 trophies. This one, we need 60. And some of the, the requirements for some of these trophies are absurd. Uh, so some of these as well, like we have upgrades that we can make to the buses, uh, which is great. Uh, but some of these you need to get, uh, let's say this one, external depots, we need 200. And let's say if we need additional external depots, maybe we need 500, then a thousand or something like that. I've actually not played enough with the external depots to understand those fully, uh, but we'll figure it out together. Uh, and one last thing before we end this, you can see that this uh, here is what, I, what it meant by city as far as the background. Um, this is a city. We have construction and random smoke coming from the ground. Uh, and we have our little bus here and we have research actually happening. Uh, so that's going to wrap us up here for our first episode of City Bus Manager. It's a game I'm really excited about. I've put a lot of time into it um, because I really, I, I dig the setup. I have lots of ideas on how I would improve or change or make this game even better. But I dig where this game's going and I'm excited to see where it goes. So if you're either into this kind of stuff or uh, if uh, you've got this game and uh, you have some stuff to share, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, folks. Bye-bye.